much as an affirmation, Reb, okay? <laughs> we should have put the affirmation web up. Not gonna happen. <laughs> but also, Brain is going to perform now. Okay. <laughs> Are you ready? So you guys do feel ready? Yeah. Okay, so this is like a, a pro, happy, like, you can interact with the performance. You can sit down on the floor. You can, like, ooh, if you feel good. You can, like, <laughs> laugh. You're allowed to laugh. It's like, this isn't, like, I feel like sometimes performance art is, like, really hard and, like, heavy and, like, that, that's obviously, there's a, a need for that kind of performance, but also, like, this is maybe closer to comedy. But maybe it's not. Maybe it's really tragic. <laughs> I also cried thinking making that so. <laughs> but but I yeah. But I wanted to I don't want to say that. Is it just part of the show? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> don't be fooled. <laughs> there we go. Okay, right. Yeah, I think it's actually okay. So I'm just going to start, I'm going to make some tea, but we didn't know this. So actually, as you may have figured out, it's lemon lift tea. I need to whisper. So get it? Not sponsored by Piccolo. Next time. Yeah. One day. Um, so thank you all for coming tonight. Um, There's still an issue. I'm sorry. What's the issue? <laughs> oh, we can just go back. No, it's okay. I wrote you to do it. Um, so thank you for coming. Um, tonight, we're on here to talk about loss, which is both a personal and like obviously a like group ish. Everyone deals with loss, so like not really personal. Although I did recently raise a couple grandparents which was um, hard. Um, though culturally, we all lost Michael Jackson and like Robin Williams and like Mayor Menino, I guess, I don't know. I don't mean to be like rude and offensive, but like I like didn't really get upset when I found out he died. But like other people around me did. And I was like, I don't know, it didn't seem like that great mayor. I don't know. Like, cool, I, I have a lot of political problems. So um, that said, um, a lot of times people are like, oh, like when life gives you lemons, like make lemonade. So that's that's kind of what this is about, right? We're here to like figure out like what do we do when we've lost something and like it's really hard, like what do you do? Like how do you find the sweet spot, right? Like where's the lemonade? So like for me, what that says is like, what are the health benefits of lemons? <laughs> like where do we go from here? <laughs> And first and foremost, let's like think about lemon juice and how like there's actually a lot of acid in here, right? Like that's like really powerful. Like that's this is a actually very antibacterial <clears throat> substance. Like we can just like mm, mm. like bam, fresh breath. Like the bacteria in my mouth is not dead. Actually, I actually have a lot of bad breath problems, so it's gonna be useful. That said. If you are gonna kill your bad breath problems with lemon juice, you should switch with water afterwards, um, or tea. Because the acid can melt your teeth. So <laughs> I just don't wanna like misinform someone and like in several years get sued. So like, you know, be prepared. You can also use lemon juice to um, kill other germs. For example, the germs that cause acne. So, you guys are probably familiar with acne you grew up. So, we experience, unfortunately experienced it. I actually am still experiencing it, which is really frustrating because in high school I was like, oh man, it's gonna be awesome when I'm in my 20s and I have like beautiful clear skin. Turns out that was a, a lie. <laughs> so, that's a struggle. So you can actually use lemon juice to kill acne a little bit. I mean, acne obviously, there's like a lot of things that go into being an acne prone person. Um, but one of them is having a lot of germs in your face. So if I could have an adventurous volunteer with like maybe an acne problem, um, maybe not, but I'm gonna be putting lemon juice in your face. It's gonna, I mean, I wouldn't do anything to you that I wouldn't do myself. So if anyone is feeling that power, I realize this is like a lot to ask. 
You ready? Ready. Okay. <laughs> so first off, we're gonna need a smock. We're gonna need a smock. I've been working with lemons a lot. Um, I've been working with lemons a lot, and the acid has actually seeped into my aura. Um, and I want to protect you. Do you want to use the sleeves? It's up to you. Yeah. Okay. This is actually a really cool smock. Um, so we're going to zip you up. We're going to get you bundled, and we are going to get you safe. Because my aura is really corrosive from all this lemon juice. And I just don't want to feel really bad if you got hurt. <laughs> We're also, we got some protective crystals. Just really safe in here. Do you feel safe? I feel pretty safe. Okay, good. <laughs> um, this is your last chance to opt out. You ready? I feel, yeah, I feel like Okay, good. 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 Uh, so we're just gonna, we're gonna mix lemon juice here. Yeah, and then I'm actually gonna toss a little water. Just, I don't wanna burn you, you know? Okay. So I am killing the germs on your face, the teensy tiny little bugs. Ooh. And we're avoiding, we're, I don't want to hit her eyes, because like, you know, your eyes are tender, precious jewels. Um, so I'm also rubbing off some of the dead skin on your face, kind of ripping it off, maybe. So <laughs> ripping your face off. And actually to help with that, I got some sugar over here. We're going to do a sugar scrub. Oh, that's a little of sugar. Okay, so we're, this is really sweet. Oh yeah, does that feel good? Mm -hmm. okay. I hope you're telling the truth, but it's so nice. And I bet you taste really good right now. <laughs> like really want to lick her face. I mean, I would, but I think I'd get lipstick and that's actually kind of defeating the purpose of what we're doing right now. <laughs> so there's that. I'm getting the sugar out of here. See, this is why I put a smock on you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that was great. We did that. So now, <laughs> Go ahead. Do you, you want to just splash some water in your face? Um, this is some lemon lavender water, and that's actually just we're cleaning off all the sugar, all these dead bugs, all this dead skin. I'll just hold a towel right here. Okay, great. Just this splash, is like it's gonna splash on my face again. Yeah, that's what we're here for. <laughs> that's all these people came to see you do this. <laughs> We can do more of these fun shit afterwards if anyone else feels like this is something you want to do. Um, I'll be here on my Okay, and I'm just going to go ahead and drain your face thank off. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so you've actually lost a lot of the natural oils in your face, so I'm going to go ahead and replace them. I got a little oil here. This is extra virgin olive oil. So some olives actually lost their virginity for this. <laughs> Another loss. Um, and I also put some lemon oil in here. And you know, as much as I think that's awesome, I have no idea if that actually has any health benefits. Um, it does really lift my mood. Lift my, and I hope it lifts your mood too. Um, that said, you know, uh, I actually have no idea if this is benefiting your um, But you know, feels good, right? Um, it kind of, it lifts your mood, lifts your face. It feels like a facelift, maybe? Have you ever had a facelift? No. Well, there's still time. Okay, and then any blemishes we missed, we're just going to cover up with some glitter. <laughs> And this also, any redness caused by the lemon juice, you know, I don't know, there's acid in there. Yeah, we're just going to splash it on. You okay? Did I just throw some in your eyes? It's going to be all right. Okay. Actually, if you want to hit some on me, I have a couple blemishes. Oh. Yeah. Just, you know, right in there. Are we ready? Yes, for the camera. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> awesome. This is a really good it's bouncing right off your glasses, though. Yeah. <laughs> you can take them off. You think you need some of the oil so it sticks like Probably, yeah. Let's go ahead and do that. That's really good. That's kind of easy. Just one more? Yeah. One, two, three. <laughs> Perfect. I'm just going to wipe my hands off. I'm going to wipe your hands off, too. Optional. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. Very important. Okay, so thank you very much. If I get a round of applause for a moment. I'll do your laundry for the legs of Okay. So I think what happened just now is actually a really good example of maybe a new way you can think about loss. 
We took someone with an extraordinary sense of insecurity about their skin, <laughs> and they lost it. You know, typically we maybe think about this as gaining something, in this case probably a sense of uh, self-confidence, but maybe we could think about every gain as a loss, and maybe that's sort of maybe a new way we could think about our lives and sort of recontextualize loss in a new way. And I don't know, I just think that's an interesting way that maybe you think about when you're relaxing, you're actually losing stress. Maybe you think you of gaining a sense of calm is like losing stress, maybe. That said, sometimes losing stress is bad. You know, think about like maybe social situations where feeling awkward like actually makes you a little more witty or like maybe in an art practice, like just being stressed like gives your art a little edge that's actually really good. So like, I don't know, sometimes you talk about losing stress as like the best thing ever, and I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm just, I, there's not much I'm sure about tonight, so it's okay. But, um, and now I've lost my train of thought. So I'm going to cut this lemon. What are we doing here? Lifting lemons, face lift, volunteer, stress. I guess we're at the worst part, right? Like, this is the awkward part where you're like, does he know where he's going? Is he gonna like, is just, does he mean like worst part? Like, this is the part where he's like, my cry. <laughs> That's what I actually meant. So when I think about like losing my grandparents and like when I felt the worst, like it starts, I, it was before they died actually. It was when I knew I was gonna lose them and sort of like living with this experience of like, okay, I'm gonna lose it. But then you're like, oh, I haven't lost them. So I can't like feel it yet, right? So you're like, oh, oh, oh. you can breathe when you feel that. Um, and then you're like, oh, what do I do? And then, so of course, you think about all the things you could lose. So it goes from like, oh, my parents are losing their parents. Like, what if I lose my parents? And like, what if I like lose my friends? And then like, suddenly I'm alone, and like everyone else is gone, and I'm really alone, and like everyone else is turning into a lemon, and the world is me and all these lemons. And it's me and lemons and no sugar, right? So like, what do we do when there are just like too many? Lemons. We're surrounded by all these lemons, right? There's lemons and they are just everywhere. And they're not going to go anywhere. They're just lemons, right? <laughs> Literally lemons. <laughs> right? Like, what are we going to do? So, first, what you got to do, this is here's what we're going to do. We're going to cut into our lemons, right? We're going to cut them in half, maybe more than half, right? Like, we could cut our lemons as much as we want. It's awesome. It's really powerful. And then we have to squeeze, we have to really squeeze the buttons here. Remember, this is a metaphor, people, okay? <laughs> Don't keep that in mind. You're not literally doing this, but maybe you are. You are. You really, you gotta remember, like I said, the, the acid that we've been talking about. Nice puzzle. I don't know. Just don't want to ruin his art to make art. Um, <laughs> this acid is like, in the juice. So you gotta squeeze the lemons to really get the juice out. Does anyone want to squeeze a lemon? I'm not gonna make you do anything else if you squeeze the lemon. I'll squeeze lemons. Um, so as we're squeezing lemons, you know, like we're thinking about like how can we move on? Like how, like, great, right? This is good. And like, what's the best way to squeeze our lemons, right? Like how do we make lemonade? Because it's not, it's really not, it's like not like how we actually make the lemonade, or that's not like what we do to make the lemonade, it's like how we do it, right? Right, like ideally I'd have like 20 or so virgins of like all genders, like really like dripping in honey and like that like gold leaf that like, you know, they can get the flex of gold leaf, like preferably the edible one, like all, like all up in here, it's beautiful, right? But can you imagine that? I can really imagine that. Speaking of virgins, has anyone in the audience like lost their virginity? Can you raise your hand? Your virginity. Your virginity. Oh, yeah. What does that so, mean? Yeah, that's a good question, actually. But for those of you who feel sure that you've lost your virginity, I really appreciate your bravery, and I really appreciate you coming out tonight. Can we get a round of applause for everyone who wants to raise their hand? Thank you guys for coming out tonight. Um, and I'm really proud of you for losing something that maybe was hard to lose. Um, Christina, you don't have to keep speaking about okay. it anymore. Um, oh, she's got a lot of lemon juice. We're making lemonade up in here. 